and I bring you today an all drugstore makeup tutorial. Maybe you're like going out but you don't want to go like too crazy. Um, but yeah, it's just a basic kind of coppery, silvery eyeshadow look with a nude lip. Um, but yeah, did a little bit of contouring. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button below. I'll put a thing right here to make it easy if you somehow can't find the subscribe button. If you like this video, if you like makeup tutorials, please give it a thumbs up. That way I know to make more. And if you haven't yet, I have a video that I posted a couple of days ago on something called the makeup mat. And I'm doing an awesome giveaway. So I'll link that video below. So if you want to see how to get this awesome, beautiful, really, really easy um, makeup look, keep watching. Okay, so I have nothing on my face. As you can see, not even eyebrows. And I'm going to use as much stuff from the actual drugstore, like Target or Walmart, Walgreens. I'm going to try and use as much stuff from there as I can. There are a few things that I've gotten from Ulta at drugstore prices or online at drugstore prices that I just, I don't, I don't have other options for or I, there's nothing I like more. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to fill in my brows and I have been using the ColourPop Brow Pencil. And these are like five bucks on the ColourPop website. And I've been totally loving it and I have got the color Dope Taupe. So brows are done and what I normally do, and I don't know, this is just me, is I will fill them in kind of like initially and they're not exactly perfect, but I'll fill them in just to kind of get the, like the framing for my eyeshadow. And then at the end after I have my foundation put on, because my foundation usually messes it up a little bit, I'll go back in and I'll kind of like perfect it. Um, so if they're not perfect right now, just relax, they will be perfect in a little bit. Okay, so next thing, I am going to do my eyeshadow first. I've really been doing this a lot more just because if any fallout happens, which it definitely can, um, it's not messing up the foundation that I've already done. So we're going to go to eyes. And what I'm going to use for that is we're going to start with the eyeshadow primer. This just really prevents any creasing from happening. So the one I've been loving right now is this NYX, what is it called? NYX Proofing. Put it on both my lids. And I don't really know what type of eyeshadow look I'm going for today, so we're just gonna kind of figure it out along the way. Hope that works for everyone. So I am going to use, this is a Makeup Revolution palette. This is from Ulta. This is pretty inexpensive. I want to say it was like seven bucks or something like that. So I'm just going to take this lightest color here. It's a matte color. I'm just going to put it all over my lid. And this is just going to help for blending out the crease color I'm going to do. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with a crease color. This is just going to kind of be a transition for when we do our all over lid shades so it doesn't just look like a hard line. I'm gonna use this one. Really any neutral, it doesn't even have to be neutral, but for this look that's what I'm doing, a neutral matte color. I always use matte colors in the crease. And I just go back and forth like a little windshield wiper and then kind of swirl it around just to really blend it out. Well, we are going to go in with a color for all over the lid and what I'm going to use, which I've been totally loving and these are just like amazing, are these L'Oreal Infallible, what are they even called? L'Oreal Infallible. I think that's what they're called. L'Oreal Infallible. So there are these little guys. They're not too expensive. You can usually find them on a, like a buy one, get one, buy one, get one half off at Ulta. 
Um, I'm not sure about like a Target or a Walmart, but I think they're normally around like six bucks each. And what I think I'm going to do is use these two. So it's a coppery and a silvery, and these are in the colors Amber Rush and Silver Sky. I am gonna start with the Amber Rush. So they actually come in, there's like this little thing. So you wanna keep this little plastic thing because that's gonna keep this pressed pigment in there. I'm actually just gonna go in with my finger. Which is great because it's free. Unless you for some reason don't have fingers and need to pay someone to use their fingers. Then it's not as good of a deal. And I'm going about two thirds over my lid because I'm gonna put that silver color on the inside. And again, this doesn't need to be perfect because perfect, we're gonna go back in and blend it all out. Uh, use my makeup mat. And if you don't know what this is, I will leave my video linked below. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Silver Sky and uh, there we go. Same thing, I'm just gonna go right in with my finger because I just think that seems to be what works best. And I'm gonna pat that on the inner corner. And I'm just gonna kind of blend the two together. See what I mean about fallout? Okay, so I'm just using this e.l.f. brush again, and I am going to kind of just gently kind of blend it together, make it not look like it just starts and stops. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back into that amber rush color, pick a little bit up on my e.l.f. brush and just kind of lightly pat it over where the two colors cross. I'm going to take that blending brush that we use for the crease color and just soften up those lines. Just going to clean up that fallout. Okay, so then for the face, I, for priming my face, which is just going to help your foundation go on really smoothly, I am going to use the NYX Angel Veil. And I am actually going to do kind of an extra step here. This isn't necessary, um, but they have this at the drugstore now, well, I mean like at Ulta at drugstore prices, and that's color correcting. And this is by the brand Catrice. I am going to use this orange color to color correct under my eyes. I normally use a brush, but the brush is in, my brush is in my other room. And so this orange color just helps to cancel out the darkness under my eyes. And I don't want to go too far, so I'm just trying to stay like right under my eyes. I probably even went a little too far down. And then I'm actually going to use a little bit of this green, which helps cancel out red. I'm going to use that on my chin. I have like a, a mark right there from a pimple that won't go away. Like really? It's been there for like a week. Like weeks actually. Then I'm gonna use it around my nose. I don't know about you, but my nose always gets a little red around the edges. And I don't know why, does anyone know why? Like I want it to go away. I've always had that. And I'm kinda sick of having to cover it up with concealer. I'm just gonna put a little on my head, forehead, my head. And this obviously isn't an everyday step. I just wanted to do as much as I could with drugstore products to kind of show you that, hey, you can get lots and lots of good stuff at the drugstore and still do like a full, awesome, like glam type makeup. 
So we got primer, color correcting. Next, we are going to go in with foundation. And I recently just got this, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte, Matte and Poreless. I like it. Um, it's actually kind of like a weird shade on me, so I've been mixing it with this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous. So it's kind of like matte and luminous together, but this one's like a little bit too light. This one's a little bit too dark, so I mix them together and they seem to work pretty well. Can you buy pumps to put into foundations? I think, I guess that would be like kind of hard because I bet all the little like holes are different. But yeah, look at, see, it's like two different colors. And mix it together and it makes a pretty good match, I think. Okay, and we're done. I'm going to use my Real Techniques makeup sponge, beauty sponge, I don't even know what they actually call it. But it's the Beauty Blender dupe. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Oh my god. Seriously? Hold on. Oh, that's actually like way better. I thought the sun was my friend. Apparently not. Sun is the enemy. What was I saying? My opinion on this. So this is six dollars, I think. And you should be able to get it at Walmart. I got mine at Ulta. Um, so this is six dollars. The beauty, the beauty blender is twenty dollars. Um, I do have a beauty blender. I think it's amazing. This works. This Real Techniques one works fairly well. But in my opinion, if you have a beauty blender and you know how it works, because it works amazing, I don't think you'd be satisfied with this Real Techniques sponge. If you've never used the beauty blender, and you use this, I think you would be satisfied with it. We are just gonna do some under eye highlighting. I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the color Light, 10 Light. Why didn't you tell me my foundation wasn't blended? I am gonna take this Wet n Wild Contour Palette in the color We'll say Deleche. And I'm gonna take this highlight shade here and just kind of pat it on under the eyes to kind of set that. Whoa! A lot of fallout. Be careful. God, I have it all over my lap. Alright, we're gonna go into this contour shade. Just a little bit, like it's really, really pigmented. And we're gonna contour, so we're just gonna kind of like make those cheekbones a little more prominent and kind of want to like feel where your cheekbone is. And you want to go down maybe like halfway, maybe not even halfway, like don't go too far, because then it looks like really weird. And so, like that. Whoa! Oh my god. Huh? I don't think I tapped it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get as much off as I can. Oh. Can we be saved with blending? Okay. Oh, oh my god. Sideburn. When stuff like this happens, it's very important to panic. Just kidding. When something awful, horrible like this happens to you, just go in with some of that highlight shade. And just cancel it out. There we go. Okay, crisis averted. We're back on track. Um, I'm gonna fix up this brow now that I'm done with the found my foundation. 
bri bra braz? Brows? My brows are fixed. these lashes and a new I or a new mascara that I've got is this one it's by Maybelline it's the lash sensational and it's got like this kind of funky brush on it it's okay I find it gets clumpy pretty easy but it does give you like a lot of length and then for my bottom lashes I do like to use this one it's the covergirl Lash Bloom, Full Lash Bloom. And then one last thing and then we're done. Okay, I am going to just kind of hit up the brow bone again with this, um, what is this one? The Ice Latte. Just gonna go right on the brow bone. We cannot forget lipstick. And I'm just gonna go for a nude lip. This is the... Maybelline Matte Lipstick Daringly Nude. See? Just nude. Daringly nude. Okay, and then, I know I've said this is the end like three times now. We are just going to set it all with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. And this just kind of locks everything in. It takes away any powderiness. And yeah. <laughs> this stuff is great. It's kind. It's basically a dupe for like a Fix Plus or um, the Urban Decay setting spray, except it's way cheaper. I want to say it's like five bucks or four bucks. Um, I do like it. The only thing that I hate is the smell. Ooh! But the smell goes away after it dries, and it dries really quickly. So I make that sacrifice. All right, you guys, this is the completed look. My all drugstore makeup look. I hope you like it. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up so I know that I should make more of these.